Weeds are the number one issue driving Rod Messina's management on the Eridu Sand Plain, Geraldton. Long-term GRDC-funded trials into windrowing on the Messina family's Spring Park farms are achieving 99% weed control. And Rod's key messages for other growers are to focus on windrowing canola and lupin crops and to burn during the day. The practice of windrowing and the focus paddocks that GRDC have been supporting over the last 10 years with Pete Newman's work is, is really, I guess it's proven that what we're trying to do here is actually working and the numbers, the numbers are declining um, quite rapidly. The hotter the fire, the better it is. Uh, and, it, we've, and through the GRDC um, focus paddocks, we've learnt that for wild radish, you do need a lot higher temperature than ryegrass. So with our focus here, it is wild radish, so we, we really do have to try and get as hot a fire as we can, which is not always that easy. Um, it's easy in lupins and canola because there's less chance of that fire spreading, so you can, you can light that up during the day and make sure you get a really hot burn. With the cereal stubbles, it is hard to try and get that temperature right, but in an ideal world, you wouldn't windrow your wheat um, because you do lose, there's a, there is a chance you will lose the paddock. Um, but in a lighter year like this year, we have windrowed all the paddocks. Just uh, use that tool rather than sometimes you can't. If you've got a, a wheat crop above two and a half tonne, then you don't really want to be windrowing because you will lose the paddock. Um, because you've got to try and burn when it's still or with a crosswind. And what we're finding is some people let their windrows burn all night. Uh, we're finding that that's not really working that well because the temperature drops during the night. So therefore your temperature inside your windrow uh, is dropping so we're trying to light up late late sort of afternoon early evening and we'll we'll light the paddock up in more um, every 400 meters so that it burns through quite quick and therefore you've you've done most of your burning sort of before eight eight nine o'clock at night there's no doubt um, with our long-term strategy that our numbers are decreasing with what we're doing um, with other tools as part of our integrated weed management with autumn tickles there's we're definitely uh, we find when we buy a new property that 